hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about energy conservation in simple harmonic motion first of all we will consider that a spring of having mass m is suspended by a fixed point so when a force is applied on that mass it will move to and fro motion so this to and fro motion is known as simple harmonic motion or periodic motion or oscillatory motion so when the force is applied it will uh, its position at the maximum point is known as x naught and its position at the mean point is known as o so this x naught is the extreme position and this o is known as a mean position or central point so uh, when force is applied the body rot body move in to and fro motion uh, with respect to their extreme position and mean position so when force is not applied or when displacement is zero then force will be zero and in addition when displacement is x naught or extreme position then force will be k x naught according to hooke's law in in this case we are dealing with when displacement uh, is equal to x naught or maximum point so the force will be k x naught according to hooke's law in addition we will also discuss with you about the uh, power or work done by this force so when work done by this force is considered when displacement is zero then there will be no work done but when work done on the body when there is a displacement of x naught then what will be the work done so the total work done will be the uh, the product of force multiplied by displacement so product of force according to Hooke's law is k x naught and displacement is distance covered by the body to the extreme position which is x naught so it will be k x naught square so in addition the total work done will be in the, in the form of uh, sum of the work done original work done and final work done so in the form of work done the total work done will be uh, average of an initial plus final divided by 2 so uh, which will be 0 plus k x naught square over 2 I will rewrite it uh, in order to clear you 0 plus k x naught whole square over 2 so it will be when it is added it will it will be 1 by 2 k x naught or half k x naught square this is a total work done on a body so in addition so this 1 by 2 k x naught is not is also known as potential energy so in addition we will also discuss with you about the kinetic energy as well as potential energy in addition we will also uh, consider that the total energy in which potential energy is converted into kinetic energy and kinetic energy is converted into potential energy and we will find out the total energy so the at any instant t we will consider that body has position of x so it is not an x naught at any instant t the body is at x position so the kinetic energy will be uh, potential energy will be 1 by 2 k x naught square so it will be uh, 1 by 2 k x square instead of k x naught square because we are dealing with the body at position x so it will be half k x square in addition uh, when the body is at the center of the uh, mean position or center of the mean and extreme position what will be the velocity because body is moving uh, from extreme position to mean position at what velocity it is coming or at what velocity it is going to the extreme position it is very important to know or we will need to calculate at the point x so what will be the velocity so velocity has a formula v is equal to uh, x naught into k over m into 1 minus x square over x naught square square root so if i will rewrite it x naught into k over m into 1 minus x square over x naught square into square root this is the velocity value of velocity so uh, according to formula of kinetic energy kinetic energy is equal to half mv square so i will consider the formula of kinetic energy and i will put the value of this velocity in this formula so it will be half mv square so we need to calculate the velocity of v square not only v so we will take square on both side of in case of velocity so kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 m into value of v is x naught into k over m 
square root into 1 minus x square over x naught square so the uh, it is value of v is uh, only this value and it is a square value so this square value when when we open this value the final value of kinetic energy will be uh, 1 by 2 x naught whole square due to square of that value and square root will be cancelled out by this term so the kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 m into x naught square uh, into k over m into 1 minus x square over x naught square square root so this square root is cancelled out by this square so the final term will be 1 by 2 m x square over k into k over m y minus x square over x naught square so you in this case you can see that m can be cancelled out in this term so this is a value at any point which is known as x so at any point when value is x the kinetic energy is maximum when kinetic energy is maximum the value of x is zero because the kinetic energy is maximum when the body is at mean position it is not an extreme position at extreme position the value of kinetic energy is zero because velocity at that point is zero and the at mean position value of potential energy is zero but value of kinetic energy is maximum so we are dealing with kinetic energy so value of x is zero and mean position so if we will put the value x is equal to 0 in this expression of kinetic energy so kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 m x naught square into k over m into 1 minus 0 because value of x is 0 so all the whole term will be 0 it will be 1 minus 0 so the final term will be 1 1 by 2 m can be cancelled out the final term 1 by 2 k x naught square this is the value of kinetic energy so you see value of potential energy at extreme point is equal to 1 by 2 k x naught square and value of uh, kinetic energy at mean position is equal to 1 by 2 k x naught square but we need to calculate the total energy at that point at any point we need to calculate and we will observe that uh, how kinetic energy is converted into potential energy and how potential energy is converted into kinetic energy and we will also observe that how total energy can be conserved in this case so the total energy is equal to sum of potential energy plus kinetic energy so we know the formula of potential energy at any point x because we are dealing with the value of uh, potential energy at any instant of time so the total energy will be uh, sum of potential energy plus kinetic energy and uh, total energy is equal to the potential energy is equal to 1 by 2 k x square because we are dealing with value of x at any point uh, plus uh, kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 k over m k x naught square into k over m or <coughs> 1 by 2 k x naught square k over m into 1 minus x square over x naught square into square root square root was cancelled out in the previous term in addition we will also deal with uh, we will simplify it in the form of this term and if we will write it of the kinetic energy 1 by 2 1 minus x square over x naught square square root square root was cancelled out so if we open this term it will be the total energy can be find out by this expression it is 1 by 2 k x square plus 1 by 2 and this whole term will be multiplied by 1 because in the bracket first term is 1 1 by 2 k x naught square minus and this whole term 1 by 2 k x naught square will be multiplied by x square over x naught square it will be 1 by 2 k x naught square my into x square over x naught square so in this case you see k uh, x naught square can be cancelled out by this x naught square so it will be cancelled out the final term in the total energy will be 1 by 2 k x naught square plus 1 by 2 k x square these two terms in addition the final term of last term is equal to minus 1 by 2 k x square so from this expression you see that plus first term of 
the total energy is 1 by 2 k x square and third term is minus 1 by 2 k x square these two terms can be cancelled out from each other the final term of the total energy will be uh, 1 by 2 k x naught square and you observe that the uh, we have calculated the total uh, total energy is equal to 1 by 2 kx naught square potential energy was 1 by 2 kx naught square and kinetic energy was also 1 by 2 kx naught square so from this term we concluded that the total energy of the system at any point of the body will remain constant total energy will not be changed only uh, potential energy can be changed at maximum point with respect to kinetic energy and kinetic energy is changed with respect to potential energy at any point so the total energy will remain same so from this we can conclude that when kinetic energy is maximum then potential energy is zero and when potential energy is maximum or at any point when potential energy is maximum the kinetic energy will be zero so at uh, in case of simple pendulum or in case of simple harmonic motion or spring mass spring system we will consider that uh, when at point potential energy is maximum then kinetic energy will be zero because at that point velocity of the body is zero and kinetic energy totally depend upon the velocity so we will uh, understand by some graphical illustration which is that uh, it is a peak value when body is going to the peak value it means it is losing its kinetic energy and gaining the potential energy when it goes to the peak value then potential energy is maximum and kinetic energy will be zero in this diagram you see that o is known as a mean point and x naught is known as an extreme point body moves to and fro motion between these two points mean position and extreme position then and mean position so at maximum point when potential energy is maximum we need to calculate or we need to understand that what is the potential energy at this point and what is the kinetic energy at this point because in the inter test and in the board exam you may be asked that what is the value of kinetic energy at this point or what is the potential energy at this point so you need to consider many things uh, related to this so in this figure you see that when body is going to downward direction it is gaining the kinetic energy so when it is it reach the point of zero or o point the kinetic energy is maximum and potential energy is zero and in this case you see that potential energy is maximum at the peak point and kinetic energy is zero at that point from this we understood that uh, at that point when potential energy is maximum then kinetic energy will be zero uh, if body move downward then it loses its potential energy and kinetic energy is gaining so the total energy will remain same which will be half k x naught square all the time in the simple harmonic motion the total energy will be uh, half k x naught square and which is totally dependent on the extreme position or extreme point so moreover we will also discuss with you about the units and dimension of energy because most of the students can be confused related to their units and dimension of energy because we are dealing with uh, simple harmonic motion in addition we are also dealing with energy conservation so kinetic energy formula is 1 by 2 mv square so the uh, 1 by 2 is a constant quantity it doesn't have unit unit of mass is kilogram and unit of velocity is meter per second and it is whole square because velocity has a value of square so if we open this the value is become kilogram meter square per second square uh, which is also a unit so if we convert this into dimension the dimension of kilogram come from mass dimension of meter come from length which will be l square and dimension of second come from uh, mid time which is t minus 2 this is a time dimension of energy which is known as kinetic energy potential energy and total energy so if we convert into SI units we will separate this value of mass m meter m square which will be kilogram meter per second square which is a famous unit of Newton and meter is separately so the total unit is joule this SI unit is joule up till now we have finished about the energy conservation in the simple harmonic motion and if you have any question you can contact me at my email address which is given here and if you like our video you can subscribe our channel see you soon bye bye see you soon